Won't you buy me a Mercedes? Hiya, welcome back to the channel. I'm working on a different vehicle today. Far less, well, less superior vehicle to the C1, what we're used to seeing. Um, I'm gonna try and demonstrate what it's doing. If we see the, if it shows, yeah, just about shows up, we can see that the side lights are on, right? And this side, there is no side lights. And also, if I press buttons on the fob, the indicators don't look neither. In other words, none of the lights on that shitter, none of the bulbs are working at all. And this is supposedly a common issue on McKeddy's uh, W204s. This is. So I'm gonna fix the shitter. And for that, we need access to the back of the light. So if we take that piss flop off, you can see there is a cluster there. And we can see that this is, I mean, sort of about the fuck. So I need to pull that off, which is held in with a clip there. And probably another clip as well. Maybe not. Now clip there at the bottom. I can pull the unit out. So I can have a closer look at it. And as we can see, yes, that appears to be the earth pin, which appears to be. Hey, look, when I met, when I, look, hold on, hold on. Yes. Yes. Fixed. Put it back in. No. So that is broken. Let's turn the lights off and uh, let's have a proper look without it plugged in. Right, so now I've turned the lights off. Let's unplug this. It should unplug. Right. Yes. Look at that. That is like some sort of incendiary device, that. Yes. That's, that's fucked, because that's broken, because the earth has melted. I had a bad connection and been out here, so I stuck a bit of a matchstick or something in it to try and repair the fault, which is, you know, it's, it's an official Mercedes approved repair method, but it's not worked this time. So anyway, we're gonna deep in this plug. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna deep in this plug. I'm gonna show you what I've got to fix it first. I've got, let's open this up. There's a part number. And this is for the right hand side, full unit. Let's check the shitter out. Oh. Right. This is actually not expensive. This costs about 40 quid for everything, including, believe it or not, bulbs. So that's the new unit, which I don't need yet, but this is what I do need. And this is a new plug with new spade connectors, which plus into the plug, which you'll see in a minute. And what we need to crimp them is, we need some of them and some B-style crimps. I can't figure eight crimps, because they sort of look like a figure of eight when they're crimped, but B-style crimps, if you look searching for the right tool. Right, let's have a look closer at this shitter. We get a lot of which way the wires go. I can just cut them all off and crimp them all at once. Or I can do them one at once. So firstly, I prefer this, which is another part number of that. Let's just shut that so you can see the part number in case you want to order these parts. Because I always get whinged at, or not always, but I have been whinged at a few times. You still can't see the part numbers, can you? Whatever, I don't know what it is. Um, I get whinged at sometimes for not naming part numbers of all the parts that I've used. But, new plug, new spades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them back one at once. So it's back beyond where the wiring is all fucked in and kept up and shagged. And then I'm going to crimp it and then push the new one in to the new plug, which, you know, you can see. Come on, you dick. Go something like that. And that, also, I'm saying this like I know how oh, this works. I've not actually looked at it yet. Fucking hell, I can't get my fingers in the shitter. Right, so I think I've got my phone balanced somewhere where I can actually see it on the screen. Can you? Because I can't see the screens I'm doing this, so I can't even check. But I'm guessing, anyway. The bad wire on here is this brown one for the earth, which you know, I'm going to cut it off. And I'm going to cut it back until I've got decent wire. And I'll do all the other ones to match the same length as that. That's the way I'm going to play this one. So I'll strip this one back. Once again, no idea if you can see what I'm doing. 
Yes. Yes. Uh, the wire in there, I won't call it pretty, but I don't think it's going to be any better than that anywhere that I go. So I think that's going to have to do. Otherwise, it's going up too short if I carry on fucking about with it. So I'll cut that down to a satisfiable length for the crimp. It should be better though. And then when you put these crimps in, well, let me see if you can see. Oh, not bad actually, quite good, quite good. You can see what I'm doing and fucking about that. These crimps, when you put them in, now it's actually a little bit too long that, but you see where the wire goes, that bit on the crimp, that bit at the end of the crimp there, that bit, that bit goes around the plastic of the wire to grab hold of it. So the length that you have left, that's still a bit too long. So I've cut a bit of that off. And try again. That's not far out. Okay, oh, how short do these want to be? Right, it seems like it wants to be about that long. Yeah. And then we use our figure of eight crimps, which, well, when you put it on, can you see anything? Nope, can't see. Fuck all, this is a waste of time. When you crimp it around there, when you crimp it around that shitter, you want it so that the loops go around them two fingers there so it pushes it in. Sort of like that. Which you can't really see, so I'm just going to do it and show you what it looks like when it's done. Right, and then when you're done, it looks something like that. Not show up at all, yeah. So you've got to crimp it in two places, you've got to crimp it to the plastic and you've got to crimp it to the metal. And then it's just a simple case of, right, look which way that is, match it up. Match that up to that, so you see that's that way around. And that's where I've cut it from, so this needs to go into this one. And that pushes into the now I'm gonna make sure I'm pushing it the right way around. Try and see which way it goes in that one. Right, and the back ones actually look slightly different, but we can see from the front that they go sideways. So they're not hold on. They are like that way, not that way. So when we put it in, that's the way I'm gonna put it into this new connector block. Which I'm gonna try and do now with one hand, but it's probably not gonna work. Make sure that's going it right all. Always beneficial. And when we push that in there, once it gets in so far, it should clip into place like that. Lovely. So now, just the same with all the other wires. And that's the second one. And then do the same until we get to the end. Like so. And then once they're in, we can press that into place, which grips everything a little bit tighter. So now what I've done is, is I've put all seven wires into the location where they should be. And hopefully when I put this next to it, see I've left a little bit of wire on it because, well, I had to because the earth wire fucked at the end. But hopefully that should be the same colour locations so we can line them up nicely as where they come out. So when I plug that into the new light unit it should work. So let's get our new light unit. Is that the new one? That's a new one, yeah, because it's not been on fire. And then we just plug it in and put it back in to and be careful not to smash the bulbs against the floor. So the new light unit, like I said, it comes with bulbs and everything, which is quite good actually. Um, and then you should just plug into place, push into place of see nothing. There we go. Just clips into the back of the light. I say that it's not working. Yeah, when we had um, well, 
just wasn't clipping in, but it's clipped in now. So let's see if the shitter works. I'd leave that off to look for smoke, but I'm so confident in my own expertise. Expertise, that's probably not the right word. In fact, that's definitely not the right word. I'm so confident in my own bodging, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. So let's try it. All right, so first one, indicators. Yes. Sick. Now try side lights. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna test the rest of the lights as well, but um, really you might need a friend to help you do that. You can test the brake lights and stuff, and I don't have any, so I might struggle, but I'll find a way. Anyway, I'm pretty confident they're gonna work. If they don't work, then I'll extend the video with why they don't work, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna work. And, well, that's it for this one, unless the lights don't work, which I'm pretty sure they will. So, see you next time.